Today is a current favorites kind of day and we're gonna go through things that I've really been liking since the end of summer and into fall. And just, you know, like we have a few fashion things but this is like my opportunity to really talk about the products that I've really been loving that are in other categories, home, pet, food, things like that, you know, a beauty even. This video is just everything that I've been obsessed with lately and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, you can subscribe down below. And I have two food items and I wanna just get them out of the way because I normally save them for last, but. So first up we have this orange Pico tea from Tim Hortons. Originally, I've never, ever, ever, ever liked tea. I've always been a coffee person. I don't like herbal teas at all, um, but I do, I can get down with a black tea, like a breakfast tea I've always kind of liked. Um, but this tea, one day I just was, I was cold and I was at a Tim Hortons. So I ordered a tea with cream and sugar and um, they gave me the orange Pico tea, which is I think they're like go-to black tea. And I became obsessed with it. And so I would go there every day to get their tea. And then I finally was like, maybe they have something like it. So I just looked up orange Pico tea and they have the Tim Hortons one on Amazon. So I went and grabbed it. And this I really like because it's a lot creamier than a normal like breakfast blend tea. And it has like a little bit of like a fruity essence um, and it's, but not too much. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how to describe the taste other than it's like very creamy and light and it does give you energy. So, so rather than like hot coffees on cold mornings, I've been doing like hot teas with this and I just love it. And it comes with a lot in here. No, it comes with three of these full and the bag looks like this with the tea. How I personally order it at Tim Hortons, I think this is kind of important. Hi, may I have one medium black tea with single single? OMG, here's your tea babes. That's one cream, one sugar and Tim Hortons talk. Next we have a granola, which this has become my all time favorite granola. I've never, I kind of am always a granola person, but like I've never been really loyal to any singular brand or anything, but I found this at Whole Foods and it's by their 365 brand and it's the maple almond butter granola. And it is so good, so good. It's like sweet, but not too sweet. And it's like not too almondy or too peanut buttery or anything. It's just so good. And also not too mapley too. I don't like like a ton of maple syrup kind of flavor, um, but this is so good. It's nice and light and airy. I've been having it with yogurt in the mornings and it's just like the best breakfast, but I've also eaten it as cereal, which I cannot say for any other granolas. Um, this is like good as snack dry, uh, again, as cereal with like almond milk or milk, um, and then on top of like yogurt or anything. I just love this stuff so much. So if you're looking for like a new granola to try, I just, I don't know. I'm getting everyone onto it. I think Jared even likes it and he's not a granola person. So next is a dog treat, which I normally wouldn't like recommend one, but I really have been liking this one for them and they've really, really been liking it. If you don't know, I have two dogs, they're very large and one of them is a little picky sometimes um, with treats and stuff and um, one will devour anything, but they both really love these and I found them at our local like Premier Pet Supply or something. Honest Kitchen goat milk and cookies, blueberries and vanilla treats and they're so good. It even says picky dog approved. Um, it literally has like goat's milk in it, barley, rolled oats, tapioca, honey, coconut oil, blueberries. And when you smell them, they smell like a blueberry muffin. I've been loving this. I love this brand in general for them, The Honest Kitchen, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you're looking for like, if you have a pickier dog. Also, this is good for their gut health because it has the goat's milk in it. And which is another thing I like from this brand. They have like that powdered goat's milk that you can mix with water. Anyway, love this. Okay, next is beauty and self care. I'm gonna start with skincare. So. I don't change up my skincare routine that much. I have super sensitive, really dry, I can have prone skin. I had one of the La Roche-Posay uh, moisturizers. I'll put it in here. That's one I was using because I had a really bad eczema flare up and that was the only thing that like saved my skin. And then I went back and my skin has been pretty decently fine lately as far as that goes. So I went to Target, I was browsing the La Roche-Posay line and I saw this extra dry skin body and face triple repair moisturizing cream. and what it looks like and it says lipid replenishing up to 48 hours of hydration suitable for babies to adults which i always love things that are suitable for babies i feel a little bit safer putting it on my sensitive skin but anyway i love 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 this i mentioned it on the podcast i told my sister i need to buy her one and i keep forgetting but i need to do that um i think it is the best moisturizer i've tried in a very long time it's one of those moisturizers where it's that you feel replenished after and your skin like feels like it's soaking it up and it also is not too thick to where it like pills off because that is a pet peeve of mine and i I just love this, love this so much. So it's huge, so I really like that too. And it comes in a pump, which I think is a little bit easier. The last one I had was like a squeeze tube and I just like prefer a pump. So again, not to be redundant, but I do have very sensitive skin. So I haven't really, I also have acne prone skin and I mostly break out around my period and I could never find something that helped my acne without 
breaking my skin out everywhere else. Um, and so I finally, using this one salicylic acid wash um, for my face from The Ordinary, and I love that stuff still. Um, I think I've mentioned it before to you guys, but um, I was like, okay, well my skin seems to be okay with salicylic acid, and whenever I use that, it, it would help breakouts, it would help prevent them. And so I was looking for something that was more gentle that had salicylic acid in it, and so I found these Clearasil uh, pads. And they have the salicylic acid in it. They're called the Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Pads, Maximum Strength. I only use them on my chin, which is again where I get my hormonal breakouts, and I love them. I use them like once every other day, every three days, kind of just kind of as maintenance. And then when I'm getting close to my period and I start feeling things coming to the surface, then I start using them every night. It doesn't freak my skin out. They're like five dollars, maybe four dollars. I found them at Target, but or, or on Amazon, um, and they come with 90 pads. So I really think that these helped me, and just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so this is by Rode, and I know it's considered a skincare product, and I. It, it definitely is, don't get me wrong, but I use it before makeup and that's the only time that I use it is when I wear makeup um, because I really think it helps give that like luscious looking skin look and like healthy glow kind of feel. It's road skin glazing milk or milk glaze, glazing milk. This is the cap that it comes with and then you like just drip it into your hands, press it onto your face. Um, and I've been really liking this. As for all the road products, I use them. I use them though before my makeup and it's just normally when I'm gonna wear a lot of makeup. I kind of prep my skin and I really like this one specifically the most. The eczema and my dry skin doesn't only stop at my face, it goes up to my scalp as well. And I use this bread like, oh shit. This is the bread scalp serum and it has helped me so much with like, first of all, normally when seasons are changing or it gets colder, that's when my scalp starts freaking out a little bit. And so that's when I've started using this again. I feel like I've mentioned it before in one of these, but I'm throwing it out there again because I still really love it. Like whenever I use this, my scalp feels better and it just feels healthier and more calm and cool. And then when it is in like a flare up of really itchy, I use this at night and it just feels so good. And in the morning, you don't necessarily have to wash your hair. I normally do, but it doesn't like leave any residue or anything. And I normally just massage it to in with this Pacifica scalp massager thing if you can see that see that has a little teeth I really like this one next is makeup which I've mentioned these Jones Road um, miracle bombs before but they just recently launched the shade in happy hour and I've been using it every single day it's like the perfect highlight glowy skin natural shade for my skin tone personally and I just the shimmer on it I don't know if they changed I don't think they changed the formula I think it's just the color my other ones that I have are more of a blush tone um, and I really like this and also I love the smell of them but I use it right before I powder and then I don't put powder over that if that makes sense I use it on like my cheekbones and I powder like under my eyes and like my chin and stuff but I don't put powder over this but I think you could I'm just like the biggest Jones Road beauty fan I love them so much and I just I think the miracle bombs get a bad rap I remember like a few videos going around and I think if you have oily skin you might not love them but for me I really like a natural kind of glow to my skin so I really think that these work for me I have a couple of fragrances to talk about because you guys know how much I love dossier and I never I, I'm always talking about them um, because I do love them and I use them majority of the time but I do have a few more expensive perfumes that I just wanted to give a shout out to because they're just like my signature scents and I love them so much. First of all, we have a replica um, by Mason Margiela in Beach Walk and the fragrance description is sun-kissed salty skin and style description, memory and fragrance. And I think that captures it. Whenever I spray this, like again, I used it more at the end of summer, um, but I still use it now and I feel like I get like that fuzzy summery feel in my brain whenever I spray it. And it feels like if you go into like a beach storefront, um, that like sells in not incense, I don't know, candles and things like that. Um, and then you're also smelling, I don't know how to describe it. These are the notes. I'm gonna put them on the screen, but um, to me, it just smells very beachy and summery and like, I don't know. I cannot pick up the notes, but I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try to explain it, but it just smells really good. And next is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, which this was really big. I think I was in high school when I started wearing this. Still like my favorite. I went a couple of years without it and I was kind of sad. I was just like, one day I was like, wait, I haven't had that in so long and I miss that smell. It's such a dynamic scent and it's like my most complimented perfume whenever I'm wearing it out, I, especially when I first started wearing it. I feel like when it was a newer, a newer fragrance. You know what? It's like, it's one of those smells where I smell smell someone wearing it and I know what it is. You know what I mean? I know that it's Flower Bomb. Um, so sweet and it's so dynamic where it has like such a, like a deep undertone to it um, without taking away from the sweetness. This is the one I'm currently working through. And they actually sent over this one, which if you can see, 
the size difference. I am so stoked because I will never run out now because you really only need a little bit of this because it's such a strong smell. I love it and I know they have different renditions on it too, which I've never tried. This is just the original and I'm like, it's so nostalgic for me. I wore it when I was younger. I just, I appreciate it. So if you've never smelt it, I think you should smell it. And yeah. How about we talk some fashion now? I'm gonna start with the glasses that are on my face because I wanted to add them in here because every time I'm wearing them in a video or in an Instagram or anything like that or TikTok, I get so many questions. That's all anyone wants to know and I love it. So these have become like my normal day-to-day -day glasses and they are by Gucci. So big and pretty and I love the details on the side, how they kind of flare up a little bit. And also I wanna preface that these are Gucci but they were like a hundred something dollars. I don't know, glasses USA somewhere. I'll put it here if I'm wrong, but I paid $123. Um, I just found the email, but I, it's literally one third of the price. I went to the eye doctor and I got my prescription and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a pair of glasses here. And I didn't like any of them. So I picked like the cheapest, most basic frames and they came out to like $350. So I was like, oh, I went home and I looked for glasses. I found these and I was like, are you serious? It was $123, they were on sale, but Glass USA is like always on sale. So moral of the story, I learned to go online and look for glasses like that. I also love iBuyDirect, but anyway, all that to say, I really like these and um, they were a really, really good price. But yeah, Glasses USA is where they are from. Okay, we have a bag next, it's a tote bag, and it is this gorgeous, beautiful plaid. This is by House of Margot, and Margot, my friend, owns the brand, and she is, I love her style, and I'm so glad that she has um, a brand now to like buy things from because I love like the plaid that she selects specifically and so I really have been liking this it goes with literally everything and it gives like that fall feel to literally any outfit that you're wearing and so I've been using this as like my go-to tote bag um, when I just want to throw a bunch of things in a bag you know what I mean but also it's so cute but also I want to mention how good it feels like it's so well constructed for a tote bag and it's like a nice thick fabric and it's just I don't know, I really like it. My current favorite pair of earrings, which you guys see a lot of, but I'm adding them in here, I don't care. I love these earrings. I love the color of them, I love, okay, come on. Shape of them, everything, the size is so perfect for every day, but also when you wanna get dressed up. I just love that they're like a pop of color into any outfit, and I just think this specific shade of blue-ish, like periwinkle kind of, it goes with so much too, and I, I just have been really liking them. They're not too heavy also, which I would like to add, um, because some earrings like this, they do get a little heavy, and I get asked all the time if they're like stone they are or anything, and I don't, I think they're just fake stone, but I think they're really cute, and um, I just thought I'd shout them out. See that? It's like a textured gold too, as far as like the hoop part goes. I love these, these are my first pair of Cezanne uh, earrings or jewelry in general from them and they did not disappoint. They're like a little pricier but they feel really nice and they have like I've worn the crap out of them and they look beautiful and perfect still. Next is a pair of shoes. I have one pair of shoes in this whole thing and that's because I've been so obsessed with these since I've gotten them, um, but they are these ballet flats. I have to shout out to Brienne if you're watching this. It is all her who, she sent me a link on Instagram and I don't know if I would have ever found these because I they're on Target. Okay, let me backtrack. These are from Target and they are from the Wild Fable line and they are like $20 I wanna say and they come in this color. I think they come in a few colors, but I grabbed the black and then I also grabbed the pink and I have been wearing them nonstop. So thank you, thank you to Brienne for sending these again. Can't stress enough how good of a find these are. Um, they're so comfortable, they really feel nice too. And I can not say that for a lot of ballet flats that I've had, like especially like the comfort thing, um, I have not had to break these in. I did get the one size above me though, um, because I just re was realizing whenever I was buying ballet flats and things, it like, feels better and it looks better when they're a little bit less tight because I like to wear socks with them. And so I've been getting one size bigger and it's like really helped out a lot. And I love these. So I just think they're so good. They're like a proper ballet ballerina flat with the like the little the stretchy part here. Also, I really like the shade of pink that they come in, I will say. Um, it's like a very much so ballerina satin pink, which I love. Uh, I'm so sad that I have to give this back, but it's rented from Run to Runway right now. It's by Sandy Liang and it's this beautiful, perfect blue fleece. It's like their signature fleece jacket and I've always wanted to try one. Um, and I'm so glad I did because now I actually know I really want one. Um, but it just feels so nice. I've had other like Sherpa, Shearling, whatever jackets like this, and this just feels nice. And it's so special with all the details on it and the colors that um, Sandy Liang comes out with and things like that. I just, this is the inside, by the way. It's kind of jarring, which I love. Um, but I've been wearing this nonstop. I think dressing it up, dressing it down, it just like can be worn so many different ways. So I 
Um, this is like one of those things, I'm not gonna buy it. Why I love Run's Runway too is because I can find new things that to be obsessed with and to like solidify, oh yes, I really do want that. I do have a couple more things that are not up here. One of the things, I've been listening to the Pamela Anderson audiobook and it's so good. I've recently discovered how much I love listening to audiobooks, especially when I'm like walking around the treadmill or something. I, it just, it, especially this one, the way she tells her story and the way, cause she also like um, is the narrator for it on, I bought it on the books app on my phone and then I just listened to it through there. Um, and just the way she narrates it and I, she has a very soothing voice also. And I just have, I really, I mentioned this on the podcast that comes out today, but I have just become obsessed and enamored with Pam Anderson. So um, this has also solidified that. I just really like the book and I highly recommend it because she goes into detail about mothering and the loves that she's had and just her her, like take on the world her kind of mindset on how she's been perceived and things like that and just a lot of it is like somewhat relatable and I just think that again I just like the way she tells the story after this I want to watch the movie that I think her son's made a documentary and I need to watch that after I finish this but um highly recommend if you're looking for a book or an audiobook I know I'm definitely like a few months late like everyone was talking about it when all this was happening but so good. Next is a robot vacuum, which is actually my second robot vacuum. It's downstairs, so I don't have it in here right now. But um, first one I bought from Target and I, we just were so curious. You guys do not know, we have two very large dogs that have, are du both double coated. Um, and we also have some cats. Um, and so there's a lot of hair in our house. We use our vacuums like every day. And so I just like something to supplement, like and help a little bit. Um, and so I'm not looking for a miracle, you know what I mean? But um, the first one just did not work out. It did not have like a self, like dumping thing. It only had like a certain amount that it could hold. Whereas this new one called the Ultinic T10 Elite Self-Emptying Robot Vacuum. And they did send it over to me, which thank you to them for that, um, to try out and test. And I love it. Like the name suggests, it has a self-emptying like garbage essentially that it empties itself into, which I find so much more useful than the one I had previously. And this one, it just, it's very easy to set up. First of all, it also has a mop on it, the bottom of it, which I think has really changed the game. I didn't even know that existed. I love that too, but I love it for its vacuuming. And so I just have it scheduled to run once a day. It gets every little nook and cranny. It like has some sensors, so it doesn't like run into anything or go down the stairs or anything, which I find really helpful also. And so I just basically like move my chairs that are in our little dining nook. Other than that, it goes around all the other chairs and furniture and goes under things, which things that I forget sometimes even get it really it gets it's just been all around useful so if you're looking for one currently i don't know if it's still on sale for like the prime day stuff but um i'll have my link down below i think i might have a code anyway i highly recommend it um and i again our dogs have really thick fur that was another thing about the other one that we had it it just didn't pick up like as thick of fur as well as it could have and this one we've had no problems with i've been using it for like a month or two now and i'm telling you i use it every day all i have to do is empty the thing um and then lastly for my last favorite we we recently bought a record player, like a new record player. We've always had one. But since Jared and I started dating like nine years ago, we've always collected records. And so we have a ton of records that have just been like sitting unused because once we got cats, we were so scared of like ruining the records because our old record player didn't close while playing. Like you couldn't, didn't have that option. Um, so we were looking for one that we could close the top on it while it was playing. And we found one on Amazon and I really, it's just been so fun. And especially as the weather gets colder, I feel like it's like, it just makes sense. Put a vinyl on and um, finally get to listen to all the ones that we've been collecting for so long. And an old new hobby that we've been doing lately again is going to record stores and things like that. And it's just so fun to like go sorting through them. So these are a few of my favorites recently that I've been listening to. Sometimes it's just so nice to have that ambiance. Sometimes I mention like our house is so quiet sometimes because it's just Jared and I and then like the pets and stuff. And so it's nice to have something in the background sometimes. It's just a little bit more fun than putting on Spotify to the Bluetooth. You know, we still do that, but it's a little bit more exciting. So uh, that is the last of my favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll put everything linked down below that I can. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Let me know what you've been liking currently, um, whether it's in any of these categories or other ones. Bye.